The assembly will hear an address by the section George Mani Weah, President of the Republic of Liberia. Prosperity, 
national development, address the spring poverty, poverty, inequalities, regional disparity, infrastructure deficit, climate change, and equitable distribution of our national wealth. Given Liberia youthful population of more than 60 percent, my government initiated a youth rehabilitation and empowerment program, the social economic empowerment of disadvantaged youth project between 2019 and 2021, with the subsequent launch of the 13 million United States dollar national fund drive for the rehabilitation and empowerment of at risk youth in Liberia. We remain of the firm conviction that when empowered, our youth can be a positive force for good. As Liberia Feminine in Chief, women empowerment and the promotion of gender equality remain key priorities of my government. Women do not only really comprise almost half of our country's population, but they, are, they also play an important role at all levels of society and must be given equal deserved attention, support, and a place at the leadership and governance table in our society. To this end, we have developed a legal framework, including the ratification of regional and international instruments to address gender inequality, which are being carried out as a result of social, cultural perception, practices, and stereotypes that support male dominance and the subordination of women. I would like to inform you that my government, together with the UN partners, is implementing the EU Spotlight Initiative to end violence and harmful traditional practices against women and girls and promote their sexual and productive health and rights. Furthermore, the government of Liberia is currently implementing the 50 million United States dollars FWAS funded project to enhance the capacity of female entrepreneurs. Mr. President, I wish to express Liberia's sincere gratitude to our local and international partners, both multilateral and bilateral, for their continued support to our national efforts in combating the pandemic. As a result, of, the, of that support, that goes well on its way to achieving her immunity, hopefully by the end of this year, this is the 7% of the population already fully vaccinated. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, my government continues to take actions through the formulation of new policy framework, and strategic interventions to address the impacts of climate change and protect the environment. Liberia commits to achieving a target of 64% reduction in carbon emission below business as usual by 2030. We anticipate that the United Nations Climate Change Conference in Egypt, COP27, will provide the opportunity to accelerate actions towards the goal of the Paris Agreement and the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. Mr. President, Excellencies, sustainable development can take place only in a peaceful and secure environment. In fulfillment of our commitment to the maintenance of regional and global peace and security, Liberia takes pride as a troop contributing country with Liberian troops and other security apparatus serving 
in the United Nations multidimensional integrated civilization mission in Mali, the United Nations mission in South Sudan, and the United Nations Internet Security Forces for Abad. We thank the United Nations and our bilateral international uh, multilateral partners for the support we continue to receive in facilitating our contribution to global and regional peace and security. Mr. President, Excellencies, I'm pleased to report that the IMF, latest appraisal of the ongoing program it has with Liberia, is very positive. It shows that the inflation rate has been significantly reduced. There are now better prospects for economic growth compared to previous years in spite of the negative effects of COVID-19. Our effort at instituting new policy measures to fight crimes were also particularly commended in the report, along with our coherent, prudent fiscal management. Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, democracy in Liberia also continue to grow from strength to strength. After many years of civil upheaval, Liberia is becoming a stronghold for peace and a safe haven for democracy. This is because we have taken actions in the last few years to build and strengthen democratic institutions such as the press and the Liberian tradition. We have put forward new legislation that empower the media while eradicating those that have tended to suppress free speech. I am proud to say that from the beginning of my administration to date, there is no political prisoner in Liberia. At regional conferences of the Mana River Union and the Equals, which have been called to discuss efforts to restore democracy in the few trouble spots in our West African region, Liberia has constantly and consistently pleaded for a straight adherence to constitutional terms limit and for a return to democratic civilian rule in cases of military takeover. Liberia is expected to hold presidential and legislative elections in October 2023. The forthcoming election will be crucial to consolidating our democracy. In this regard, I wish to underscore my government's unwavering commitment to ensuring that the enabling environment continues to exist for the conduct of peaceful, free, fair, transparent, and inclusive elections. This is in keeping with my commitment to ensure that the democratic will of the Liberian people is respected at all times. In the run-up to the 2023 elections, it is incumbent upon all prospective candidates to avoid the incitement of violence and any other behavior that would deprive the Liberian people of the peaceful space that they need to freely exercise their franchise and freely express their political will in choosing their leaders. We must let the people decide and then we must respect their decision. This is indeed the true essence of democracy. 
Mr. President, Excellencies, if we must advance common good of humanity, the implementation of the 2030 Agenda and the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals, then international cooperation must be given privacy and the principles of solidarity must have the rightful place. We have the platform to generate the transformative solutions we seek. The world is washing. Our people are washing. And we must now seize the moment, confront the challenges, and collectively endeavor to lift the poor from poverty and hunger, sickness and disease, and ensure progress, development, and prosperity for all. At the same time, we must protect our planet, guarantee and maintain global peace, security, and stability. Mr. President, we must pursue efforts to make the United Nations more efficient, more effective, more inclusive, more accountable, and more suited for the purpose at hand. With the voice of His Excellency George Mana, we are there. His Excellency George Manawia, we are addressing the General Assembly. <laughs> President George Manawia, I guess it's, you know, address. We say, Federal President, as always. President George Manawia. <laughs> he is the President Adam Barrow. Right, yes. He just also greeting His Excellency George Manawia. I uh, just dress. President George Mother, we are just got through got through addressing the journalists. <laughs> The land law, the poor one greet. Yeah, the land that we Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, you see, the president just got through with his address. And you see a foreign dignitary in queue to. Yeah, You see foreign dignitary in queue to greet. His Excellency George Mane, we are. also the president of the ECOWAS Commission. Oh, the president of the ECOWAS Commission? Yes, sir. Yeah. The president of the ECOWAS Commission is also here. Yeah. You know, I uh, see dignitary. Dignitary are uh, here to greet the president. We are after him. Yeah. Yeah, the, the ECOWAS Commission chair. Yeah, the ECOWAS. <laughs> he gets here to greet President George Young. This is for a dignitary. He's also here to pay respect to George Manu Bia. To pay respect to George Manu Bia. You know, after a very powerful deliberation by His Excellency, making the case of the Liberian people, you know, you know, telling Liberia that democracy, democracy is democracy. Josh, we are after the live after a very strong, after a very strong, after a very strong speech by his excellency. Well, I mean, a very strong. This is this is and here you see this is the hall and you see that school of minister here see minister samuel d toy minister Mr. Samuel D. Twelve is also here. Mr. Twelve, he just listened to the president, and, you know, expatiate on and making the case of Liberia on a global stage. I mean, what is your impression? It's a wonderful delivery. Uh, the president shows the direction the country is going. Liberia's commitment, global commitments in maintaining peace, security, a commitment to climate change, many of the big teams, partnership, the UN uh, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Um, and so I think it was a wonderful delivery. Um, effortless, you saw him, you know, uh, proclaim big, big stuff. So I think uh, the next stage now is we go back and continue what we began four, five years ago. We got one more year and then to take it from beyond. So. And from the very powerful speech delivered by the president, what is the meat you can take out of this speech? You can say, okay, this is what I took out of this speech as the Minister of Finance. The meat is that the president, the meat is that the president took a country from a difficult place, turned it around macroeconomically, and is now setting the stage 
for development, for climate change, and many of the big things that are coming, job creation. Thank you. That was the voice of the Minister of Finance, Mr. Samuel D. Twe, you know, making, uh, telling the Liberian people about what Please, this, this is the heart of the general. You see presidents, you see leaders, you see officials of the general assembly. See my brother Piwala here. Piwala said, Yes, pass. Thank you. I'm celebrating this birthday on a special day. A special day. I'm celebrating this birthday on a special day. A special day where George Mane, we are, you know, address the General Assembly. I mean, this is a special day for every one of us. For me, particularly, where. You know, I witnessed the president address the UN General Assembly. I mean, I'm grateful to God for making me to see this day. And I think it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing that I witness or see the president, you know, addressing the General Assembly on my birthday. I mean, it's something that I can't. I can't easily say, hey, what are you? I can't easily say thank God for. Yeah. Something that I, I can't say thank you for. No, I'll do something. I just uh, uh, yeah, the poor, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You see, these these are all officials of the Liberian government that are here, you know, to grace the president address of the general assembly. <laughs> and you see, you see the deputy speaker is here for Nati Kofa and from the Senate, uh, Zoe Manuel Pena is also here. Yeah. Thank you. They are all here as at this historic year. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you see government officials here, see the information minister, Ledger Hu Reni, see representative from district number nine. They are all here. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the, the deputy the deputy speaker of Furanti Kufa is here. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, you listen to President George Mane. We are addressed the General Assembly. I mean, what is your impression about the President's speech? I think it was very, very succinct. 
to the point, I think the president stressed three cardinal issues that impressed me. Number one, the issue of uh, collaboration after the pandemic, the issue of the conflict in the Ukraine, and the issue of gender equality in our body politics. I think he made the case very strongly as the president in chief. And I thought he was very good. Okay, let me ask you this final question. What is the meat you can take from this presentation by the president on the global stage? The meat I can take from the president on the global stage is that Liberian like, democracy has arrived in the sense that Liberia like, is capable now of discussing on the world stage issues that involve international and also domestic politics which interchange the two. That's the voice of the deputy speaker, Furanti Kofa. Uh, you know, laying the basis, and you see the the, the law mayor Jefferson Cody. The law mayor Jefferson Cody is also here, uh, you know. And you see different kinds of people, uh, you know. Yeah, and you see Eugene uh, 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 Nangwe. You know who can be give my birthday gift after? Mr. <laughs> Nangwe, you, I mean, you listen to President Weir. And you listen to him making the case for Liberia, specifically talking about the, our democratic credential over the years that we have managed to sustain as a country. That's true. What can you say to that? Yeah, I think that was the core of the president's speech, the fact that Liberia is growing from strength to strength in his uh, democratic sojourn. And I also was very impressed over the way he sounded a clarion call for the UN to refocus itself so that it becomes more responsive to the needs of the people of the world. And I think the president, uh, given the 15 minutes that he was giving, uh, managed to deal with all of the relevant topics, uh, both domestic and international. I think his support for the Ukrainian people was very critical because uh, Liberia itself has faced war, so we know what war means. In this case, it was an incursion into Ukraine uh, uh, by Russia, and he also managed to use the platform to issue a very clear position of Liberia. So the president uh, did uh, come here today and put forward the best thoughts for our country, and now he has to return home to continue to consolidate all of the projects, development projects, and the social projects that he has already uh, commenced and are well advanced. Uh, I am aware that after here today, the president will also be meeting with the Secretary General, uh, Mr. Guterres, and then later on, a delegation from the U.S. State Department will be visiting him at his hotel for uh, uh, some bilateral discussions, and it will wow. be led by the level of a, of a uh, Deputy Secretary of State, uh, an entire delegation, including the African team, will be paying a visit to the president at his hotel later on this evening and that will be preceded by a meeting, a side meeting of the heads of state of Ecuador. So the president really has a visit day today. Wow, it's that's a time. sincerely visit day. So before I leave you, what message can you say to the people back home? Well, the UN is a platform that brings leaders, countries and peoples together. It is not a librarian centric event, but it is also it is also there for us to share ideas. Okay. okay. You see the protocol team. You know the protocol team is here. You see Ami. You see. Yeah. You see Muna. And you see the men who have just delivered a very powerful speech to the generals. <laughs> and you see the first lady of the our beautiful mom here. Yeah, she's there, always standing behind us. And you see Nora Finabundu, the chief for protocol of the executive marshal, is also here. <laughs> and you see Pewala, and the rest of the other people are also here. So it's a good thing. Mr. President, one word for your people. You got thousands of people that are viewing you right now. Well, first of all, can I say, let me wish you a happy birthday today. I uh, wish you God's blessing. Thank you. But about, I just want to say to all of our friends, our family and friends, Liberians in the diaspora, I want to thank them for, for making sure that they make this uh, uh, meeting a successful one. You know, they were here to encourage us. and. Uh, I think it's a good thing, you know, that they left the business schedule 
to come in just to honor their country, you know, to see the president speak. But again, as I said, you know, I must, I must commend them. And this is how it's supposed to be. Because we are all Liberians. Yeah, I'm the president today. Somebody will be the president tomorrow. But we are all Liberians. So I'm glad that I could deliver our, our message to the, uh, the entire world. And now, that's what it is. You know, this is my third time, and it's, it's nothing new. So that, uh, I'm happy that uh, uh, I was able to uh, present our uh, 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 document. Okay. You know, President, you always talk about peace. You always talk about peace. And today you also talk about peace. You know, you know uh, 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 when, I, when I talk about peace, you know, it's not just a uh, mere talking. When I'm talking about peace, uh, I want you to relate to those that were in the war. I was in the war, but I went around refugee camps and I know the devastating effect of, of, of not having peace. So I, I promote peace because I, I'm a former peace ambassador for the United Nations UNICEF. You know, without peace, our war will be difficult. With peace, we can build, we can foster our, our, our friendship, we can do everything with all peace. You know, uh, uh, we, we are blessed, Carrasco. A few years ago, you know what I'm saying, we were hosting, we were, we were uh, 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 hosting uh, peace keepers. Now, we are going to, to, to other countries now to restore peace. I think it's, it's a sign of uh, uh, achievement. And every Liberian must cherish that. And this is why we cannot, all of us here, we we inspire to be somebody in our society. Without peace, we can be. We can be. Forget about the opposition, no position, who position and what position. What we need to do in our space today, after our, uh, our, our social upheaval, every librarian that inspires to be somebody must be courteous and must be peaceful so they can arrive at uh, 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 their, their, their future goal. Because without peace, we can. You want to be president uh, uh, tomorrow? You think if you fight me, then you'll be president? No, there will be devastation. You understand? So you don't need to fight. You don't need to destroy your country. You don't need to, to even condemn your country. You have to be inspired, peaceful, day, and then uh, uh, convince the people, persuade people. Uh, politics is about persuasion. And it's about what you have done for your people. I have done so much that I don't need pay for. You know why I don't need pay for? Because Liberians love me and they promoted me when I was on a soccer pitch. You know what I'm And they were proud to be Liberian when I was on a soccer pitch. And I've done, I've done my best for my country. I, I'm a former peace ambassador. It doesn't matter what people say, I'm on record. So I just want to say again to all of our friends and family that came uh, 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 from every state in America, I just want to say thank you for supporting us. You know, this is their government. And, and, and again, we'll be coming to them to, to state our case for our second term. And I can guarantee you, you see me, I don't talk too much. We will have a second term because we have done something. We have done something that Labrimpo people can see. Without doing anything, Labrimpo people gave me a mandate. And they with me from 2005 to date. Without, without doing anything, I have done something. Trust me. I'll be re-elected. Uh, 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 I agree. <laughs> That's it, that's, that's it, it. That's you, can't it. That. you can't get better than that. You can't get better than that. You can't get better than that. And one go, I get him my give, eh? My yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 give. My give can be envelope. You listen to the president. My give can be envelope. <laughs> Today I get a best birthday give, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I get a best birthday give. Oh. It is a, my, 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 my gift coming yeah, envelope. envelope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you listen to the president, you listen to the deputy speaker, you listen to the, uh, I mean, you listen to everybody talking about the impression. You listen to foreign dignitary that were tipping their way to greet the president, exchange pleasantry with him. And, you know, and also show their support to the progress that have been made by George Weir over the years. And something that we are proud of because when we walk down the street, we see how people, you know, 
greet the president. So it showed that the president is really loved and he's supported. Evidence by what you saw here, yeah, you know, where different kinds of people was lining up to take a photo to greet George Weah. I mean, that's the kind of support. And you see, Philomeno uh, Pisota is also here, yeah, the, the gender minister. She's here to accompany the president. Uh, Madam Minister, I one word for your people. What is your impression uh, about George Weah? We're just here? so blessed that we're able to be here to tell our own story. And we are very happy, as from the gender perspective, to have a president who considers himself a feminist in chief. And you see what he um, said, you know, he continues to commit to gender equality, to women's empowerment. And what we can do is to continue working towards that effort because, you know, whatever we put in front of him, he is supportive of it. So we hope that the women of Liberia will join hands with all of us and we can continue pushing the agenda because, you know, the gender agenda is strong. And women's rights are human rights. And this president understands that. She and he is for us. Women right he's a yeah. he for she. But the president is a he for she. Yeah. And you heard his, his speech in there. You know, he's all about ensuring that women and girls are protected. So all we can do is to work with him to ensure that that agenda comes to pass. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's the voice of the the gender the gender minister, the gender minister Pisota. That's the gender minister Pisota there. <laughs> Well, today is the birthday. Today is my birthday, and you listen to the president saying, "My, my, one of the other birthday are the best birthday." Oh. They say we can't envelope. <laughs> At least the foreign minister, the Master Kimia, is also here. He's uh, strongly moving with the president, supporting the president in the president. You know, these are the team that are here to make the president dream a reality. Uh, Happy birthday, Carlos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 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 We are proud, we are proud, we continue to be proud. I am very proud today that I'm celebrating my birthday. I'm celebrating my birthday on this very special occasion. There you go. Yeah, you see, all the boys say they'll give me envelope today. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. We're celebrating your birthday. Hey, today, they spoil you. And you see, my only sister here, Nora Fidabono, is also here. Look at her. She's always looking at 16 years old. Look at her face. I'm 16. I'm 16. To be exact, I'm 16. She gets more than her face. I'm a baby. I love, honestly, I like to be grateful to God for today. He has done it again. You know, every day, I say to the world that the God I serve has said to me, Finna. Be still and know that I'm God. And today again, he's God all by himself. I want to give God the glory because he's God all by himself. I want to say thank you to God because all of this is the doing of God. Men will talk, but when God talks for you, you're all the other talkers are not mechanics. No, 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 no. You know, you know, at the end of the day, when all of the laws are said and all, today, today is the is the birthday of my love. You know what I'm talking about, right? Guys, look at the bag. Look at the bag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Don't distract all about talking about Look at my bag. Look at my bag. You know, you know, you know, guys, you know. Sometimes when the haters are saying things, yeah. especially the ones who got my pepper and salt, oh. I wonder if, of they, course. if they do have oh, sex. They got something they call the coffee. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But that's the reason why I don't talk a lot. Yeah, because true. God is the one who talks for me. Because sure. I don't have to talk. Because they are noise makers. I was just they are noise makers. All of them are noise makers. Trust the God you know. Know the God you know. Because when you know the God that you know, come let me teach you. Let me show you manga. Then you will know that all of them are all noise makers. Noise maker. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
So now, like you listen, you listen. The president, the president, the president will be having a high-level meeting, and you know where you have officials from the State Department visiting. See the ARC again. Yeah. Uh, this is the ARC, my brother Nyanki Duzu. Why would I be here for the guy? Yeah, we're in the UN building and going all at the moment where President Wea. Where President Wea. Best birthday, yo. Bagu? I still feel speaking of bringing. Shower blessing. 